Welcome to this episode where we explore the challenges of vision and productivity. We have analyzed the challenges of neck, back, and shoulder pain in previous episodes. We've also identified the challenge of vision and how that contributes to WMSDs. Now let's continue our investigation into the challenges of eye strain and eye health. To put eye fatigue in perspective, this segment from the clip first shared in episode 3 is relevant. Research states that it takes 150 movements by the dentist per procedure, pulling and replacing hand pieces to the control. This creates tremendous stress on the operator. His ability to focus visually and mentally on his objective of quality dentistry is disrupted. Repeatedly, he has to move from the oral cavity to the handpiece control. Over a period of time, research shows that this not only creates a mental stress, but a physical stress on the lower back, the neck, and causes eye strain refocusing from the oral cavity approximately 18 inches from the eye to the control, which is approximately 36 inches from the eye. We found this quote insightful, no pun intended, from Epidemiology Research International. Dentistry is a demanding profession involving high degree of concentration and precision. Dentists require good visual acuity, hearing, depth perception, psychomotor skills, manual dexterity, and ability to maintain occupational postures over long periods. Check the link at the bottom of the screen for more of this article. As we noted in episode 2, 87% of dentists experience the effects of eye strain, which are itching or burning eyes, dry or watery eyes, difficulty focusing, increased sensitivity to light, blurred or double vision, and headaches. The primary causes of eye strain and fatigue for the dental team are intense visual concentration on a small area. Changing the point of focus frequently causes eyes to continually accommodate. Changing light intensity, typically a 4 to 1 to 10 to 1 ratio, frequently causes pupils to dilate and constrict. This information is from an Austin P. State University Anatomy and Physiology course. You can learn more by entering the link at the bottom of the screen or in the reference section. Autonomic reflexes in which the radial and circular muscles of the iris and the responses are constriction or dilation of the pupil as they adjust to changes in light level. These actions are shown in the illustration which accompanied the quote. In addition to the adaptation of the musculature controlling the iris, the external muscles of the eye are also affected. These great illustrations from the lengths at the bottom of the screen describe the muscles actions in eye movement. As the clinician looks from a highly illuminated oral cavity to the ambient light level of the extraoral area, the muscles surrounding the iris not only accommodate, but the external eye musculature moves the eye properly. The muscles of the eye are some of the most heavily worked muscles in the body per muscle mass. This takes significant energy throughout the day for a dental clinician. When the challenges of neck, back, and shoulder pain caused often by the need to see and combine it with the effects of eye strain, we have a debilitating negative outcome. Combining these two threats throughout the day, is it any wonder that productivity is adversely affected? Another insightful quote from the Epidemiology Research International article. Following the quote cited previously in the article, it goes on to say, Diminution of any of these abilities affects the practitioner's performance and productivity. To learn more, read the article in the link at the bottom of the screen. We will get into the productivity challenge in the next series. So to finish this episode and summarize our Dental Ergonomics 101 series, Dental clinicians lean, twist, and contort their bodies to see what they're doing. Their eye muscles often work overtime, resulting in eye strain as well. The combination of WMSDs and eye fatigue often lead to reduced productivity. Let's correct that starting now. In the next series, we will begin the journey to solutions and our recommendations to recover your lost treasure and your health and well-being. As always, we invite you to send your questions to michael.couch at caringquest.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com caringquest.